on the screen. So, Mike, can you please ask him if they're using tags keywords in multiple different languages? If so, how different is that approach compared to tags in English? Does tight feet exist outside of English? Question mark, question mark, question mark. You need a three question mark, well, not one. It's, it's a, a, a very good question. Um, it, was it for us? Yes. Yes, it was for you, I believe so, he, yes. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, definitely. That's a very good question, and he's totally right. So using tags and keywords in multiple uh, different languages, yes, sir. And we use it in English and in German because we really are targeting, we know that our most, yeah. um, like our biggest uh, um, community, uh, community right. audience in this case uh, are Americans, and then right after that are Germans. So what we use is like, sad emotional beat, whatever, everything in English. And we use sad beats in German language as well, because we know that people are also looking for that kind of stuff on YouTube. There are a lot of German rappers and German people um, looking for beats and they type in German. So that's a very good question. And yes, we use it. And does type beats exist outside of English? Of course, you have a lot yeah. of any artist, French uh, or German, have type beats yeah. like literally you can look it up on youtube and you see on the suggestions so exactly so do you think it would make sense because i honestly was not aware of this i'm not even gonna lie this is interesting to me <laughs> something now oh, i want to cool. i want to yeah, great question i want to look into this more myself so in your opinion would you think it would be good advice for okay say kenneth is uploading his beats and he's looking at his data and his analytics and he yeah. notices that he's getting a load of traffic from like i don't know like vietnam or something i don't know, I'm picking somewhere random should he then go figure out the tags in uh, Vietnamese to put into the type B's? Like, do you think that would be beneficial? Like, if your traffic is saying you're getting it from this country, would it make sense to do your due diligence and understand kind of the terminology and how they would look stuff up to really kind of pound that audience and really hopefully turn conversions into sales? I mean, I know for a fact, I know a producer personally, and well, we know a producer personally, a friend of ours, actually, I, I don't want to mention him right now, but he really uses... He, trans he uses Google Translate for the keywords, and that's not a lie. He, he really uses Google Translate for Spanish, and mm. he makes a lot of views. He's a big, big YouTuber and a big producer on YouTube as well. And uh, yeah, he even uses like other languages for titles, even Chinese and Korean. So Smart. yeah, it, it exists, man. It's crazy. So that is, like, that is crazy, yeah. man. Guys, <laughs> I think everybody needs to go look at their analytics and see where they're getting tra traffic from. Of course. on their YouTube, you on their beat stars. Yeah. Every, I mean, you should be doing this already. You should have an idea of who your audience is and, and who, who's buying and listening to your stuff. So.